All right. Hi, sweet family. Welcome. Welcome to Sweet Annie's Life. I am gratering some cheese because today we are going to make another one of our scones recipe. The ones that I used to make for the children or mornings. So I am going to finish gratering this cheese and then I will come back with you. So, but before we start, I have a big surprise. I have a big surprise. Something that my daughter had done for me. And y'all know, y'all know that I do not wear aprons. I went through my thing and I found an apron that my grandchildren had given me. And I said I was going to start wearing that. But then my daughter had an apron done for me and I wanted to put it on when y'all are here with me. Look at this, look at this, isn't it beautiful? And it says, Sweet Annie's Kitchen. And this is my youngest daughter that had it done for me. So that is my biggest surprise. I just love it. I was so excited. So I wanted to put it on with y'all so y'all will be seeing me in my apron from now on. Don't I look good? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Don't I look sexy? Okay. So let's get on with the recipe. Anyway, for those of you that is here for the first time, welcome. Welcome. And thank you for stopping by. And for those of you that are accustomed being here, thank you once again. I so, so, so appreciate it. So today, as I said, we are going to be making some scones that I used to make for the children in Barbados. And we are going to be having it for breakfast this morning. So I hope that you all enjoy this recipe. It's going to be cheese scones. So this is my cheese. Um, I have two different sets of cheese. This is just the plain, plain cheddar cheese. And then this one is just a mix. So I'm going to grate that. Then I have, this is my ingredients list. So then I have some coconut milk. Y'all know how I like to use coconut milk. So I have a cup of coconut milk. Then I have here a stick and a half of melt, well, not melted, but room temperature, or you can melt it as well. But this is room temperature butter. I have two cups of flour. And in here, I have a tablespoon of baking powder. In this container, I just have some echelots or what y'all call sweet onions and some parsley. So I'll be putting that in as well. And in here, I have my Bajan pepper sauce. Y'all would have seen me made my Bajan pepper sauce. So I, somebody gave me some scotch bonnet peppers a few days or weeks ago actually and I made some fresh pepper sauce with those scotch bonnet and it was so hot but so this is the pepper sauce so I'm just gonna grate my cheese and I'll be right back so family I am right back and I'm gonna be using my mixer today remember the last time I told y'all I used to mix these things with my hand, but I'm not mixing it with my hand um, anymore. There's no need to. So I'm going to put my flour and my baking powder in 
my mixing pan and also my butter so I'm gonna put those and as I say if you wanted to too you could uh, melt the butter slightly just make sure it's not too hot to mess up the flour because if it's too hot the flour is not going to work so I'm just going to mix these and I'm going to show you the consistency. So right now we are just mixing the flour, baking powder and the butter together. So I'm going to show you the consistency I'm looking for. I added low because I didn't want the flour to spatter everywhere. But I'm going to just raise it slightly. When you are in the kitchen, you need to wash your hands. So, I just went to wash my hands. All right, so we are going to stop this. Look at it. I showed you all this before, but for those of you that didn't see it, this is the consistency that I'm looking for. Okay? I am looking for it. It must be really crumbly. So that's the consistency I'm looking for. So to this, I'm just going to add my different seasonings. And I'm just making cheese scones and I'm going to add my cheese. This looks like a lot of cheese, but I'm going to add my cheese. And as you can see, there's no sugar or anything going in here. I'm going to add a little bit of my milk to, to help those things mix together. Let me bring you a little closer. Look at it. See how it looks? See, it's not leaving the pan. So I'm going to put some more flour in there so to help it to leave the pan a little bit more. All right. I put an extra half cup of flour inside. And you see what's happening there? It's leaving the pan. That's what we want. All right, so we are going to, I'm just going to put some flour on my hand. And we are going to take these and roll them in balls. is still to me is still a little clammy but we'll see so I'm gonna roll it in a ball like this and rest it right on my pan there. Roll it in another ball. And these are our cheese scones. So what makes it extra special is the pepper sauce. The pepper sauce give it that, I don't even know what to call it, that zest that oomph that 
but the pepper sauce is awesome. And once again, that is Sweet Annie's pepper sauce. So if you want to see how I made that, you can check it out on this YouTube channel. So I'm going to roll out the rest of these things and then we will shove it in the oven. And after, after I put it in the oven, I will tell you how long they bake for because we're going to make an egg wash to put on them when they're half baked. All right, family, all the scones are all rolled out. So we are going to put them in the oven for about 25 minutes or so, or maybe 20 minutes. But I'll be right back to show you how I make the egg wash to put on it to give it some color. All right. Um, we're going to take our egg. Because we're just going to make like an egg wash. So we're going to take our egg. Look at this beautiful egg. Look at the yolk. How yellow it is. I just love these eggs. They're the um, free range eggs. That I get from all these. And... I just think that is so noticeable, the color and everything of the, but we are just mixing our egg wash. And it's all mixed. Then we are gonna get our thing wash it and get ready to rub our scones okay while we are waiting on our scones this is my chicken i have some chicken breast strips that i normally cut out of my whole chickens and i just put some seasoning on them I'm going to put some paprika on it now. Just put some seasoning on it. And I'm going to probably fry those to eat with our scones. All right, family. I'm just going to put some. These are our scones. Looking good. But do you see how white they are? So I'm going to just put some egg wash on them all over because I always put on my egg wash when they're almost cooked because they have probably another 10 minutes I had them in for 10 minutes so far so they have probably another 10 minutes and then we'll take them out if you leave them in too long they would um, get really dry. So remember, don't leave them in too long. And I know this is hot here, but I don't want to take the pan out and they got to put it back in. So I normally just do it here. So that is it. And I will be right back. When we take them out, take family, we are going to take our scones out. They look beautiful. I have my chicken on frying, and that is what we are going to have for breakfast. So I will be right back to taste it for you. But they have to cool because I just took them out. So they have to cool. These are our scones. It is so nice and soft. And every day is still warm. I love them when they're warm. Because when they're warm, everything 
So you look at that, look at this string. All right, I am going to use them with some pepper jelly that I made. So this is my pepper jelly. So I'm going to try it with the pepper jelly because cheese and pepper jelly tastes awesome. So let's, let's try this. Okay. These taste so good. I'm gonna put some more pepper jelly in it because it needs some more. Mmm, it's good. It's good. Okay, family, y'all definitely, definitely have to try this at home. It is so good. So, try it at home, and you would not be disappointed at all. Okay, for those of you that are now joining me, my daughter gave me this apron, and... It says Sweet Annie's Kitchen. And do you like it? I like it. I like it. I like it. So, so have an awesome, awesome day. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode of In the Kitchen with Annie. And I will be back to bring you another episode of in the kitchen with Annie and if there's anything that y'all wanted me to make and if you hear that cracking that's the chicken fryer if it is anything else that you want me to make just send me a message send me a comment and let me know and like share and subscribe to this channel so that these recipes could get through to more people and once again spread the love and continue to let your light shine and blessings and favor to all of you and have an awesome week.